Amichio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist, recently revealed a startling finding uncovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. This is an intriguing investigation into a subject that clearly troubles him quite a bit. You might be astonished to learn that influential people such as Mikio are quite invested in the belief that life is flourishing on distant planets in the universe and perhaps even in our own solar system. But this recent discovery puts into question everything we know about how galaxies form as well as the creation of the universe as a whole. So, what is this startling new discovery made by the James Webb Telescope on Proxima b? And why are scientists more sure now than ever before that this new discovery can change life as we know it? Let's find out on this new episode of Voyager. The atmosphere of a hot, puffy gas giant planet orbiting a far-off sun-like star has been observed by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to bear the unique signature of water, as well as signs of clouds and haze. The observation, which relies on minute changes in the brightness of specific hues of light to infer the existence of particular gas molecules, is the most thorough of its kind to date and highlights Webb's unmatched capacity to study atmospheres hundreds of light years distant. Webb's immediate and more thorough observation represents a significant advancement in the effort to characterize potentially habitable planets outside of our solar system. Despite the fact that the Hubble Space Telescope has studied many exoplanet atmospheres over the past 20 years, recording the first clear detection of water in 2013. There are more than 5,000 known exoplanets in the Milky Way, including WASP-96b. It is a type of gas giant that has no direct counterpart in our solar system and is about 1,150 light-years away in the southern sky constellation Phoenix. WASP-96b is the puffiest planet in our solar system, with a diameter 1.2 times larger and a mass less than half that of Jupiter. And it is considerably hotter when the temperature exceeds 1000 degree F WASP-96b makes one complete cycle around its sun-like star every three and a half Earth days, orbiting it at a distance that is just one-ninth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. WASP-96b is the perfect target for atmospheric investigations due to its massive size, quick orbital period, puffy atmosphere and lack of polluting light from surrounding celestial objects. The WASP-96 system was observed by Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph last year for 6.4 hours while the planet travelled across the star. The end result is a light curve that illustrates the overall lowering of starlight during the transit as well as a transmission spectrum that demonstrates the brightness variation of distinct infrared light wavelengths between 0.6 and 2.8 microns. The transmission spectrum reveals details of the atmosphere that had previously been hidden, such as the unmistakable signature of water, hints of haze, and proof of clouds that were previously believed not to exist based on observations. While the light curve confirms properties of the planet that had already been determined from other observations, such as its existence, size, and orbit. The starlight that is filtered by a planet's atmosphere as it passes in front of the star is compared to the unfiltered starlight that is observed when the planet is next to the star to create a transmission spectrum. On the basis of the absorption pattern, or the locations and heights of peaks on the graph, scientists are able to identify and measure the abundance of important gases in a planet's atmosphere, Atoms and molecules have different patterns of wavelengths that they absorb, similar to how persons have distinguishable fingerprints and DNA sequences. The spectrum of WASP-96b, which was recorded by NIRIS, not only contains the most accurate near-infrared transmission spectrum of an exoplanet atmosphere to date, but it also spans a remarkable variety of wavelengths, including visible red light and a region of the spectrum, wavelengths longer than 1.6 microns, that has not previously been accessible from other telescopes. Water and other important chemicals like oxygen, methane and carbon dioxide, which are not immediately apparent in the WASP-96b spectra, but which might be observable in other exoplanets planned for investigation by Webb, are particularly sensitive to this portion of the spectrum. The spectrum will allow scientists to quantify the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere set limits on the abundance of different components like carbon and oxygen, and calculate the depth average temperature of the atmosphere. Then, they can extrapolate from this data to draw conclusions about the planet's overall composition, as well as how, when, and where it originated. The best fit model is represented by the blue line on the graph, 
which accounts for the data, the known parameters of WASP-96b and its star such as size, mass and temperature, and assumed attributes of the atmosphere. Because of Webb's cutting-edge design, the measures have an amazing level of clarity and detail. Its 270-square-foot gold-coated mirror effectively gathers infrared light. Its precise spectrographs divide light into thousands of infrared color rainbows. Additionally, its highly sensitive infrared detectors detect the smallest variations in light. Nearest can distinguish between brightness differences between those hues of a few hundred parts per million and color differences of only a few thousandths of a micron. The difference between green and yellow is around 50 thousandths of a micron. Additionally, Webb's extraordinary stability and orbital placement near Lagrange Point 2, which is around a million miles from Earth's atmosphere and its contaminating effects, allow for an uninterrupted view and clean data that can be processed swiftly. The incredibly precise spectrum, which was created by examining 280 different spectra simultaneously during the course of the observation, only gives a little glimpse of what Webb will be able to discover about exoplanets. Several dozen exoplanets ranging in size from small rocky planets to giants rich in gas and ice will have their surfaces and atmospheres studied using spectroscopy over the course of the next year. Studying exoplanets and the components that make them takes up almost a quarter of Webb's Cycle 1 observation time. This nearest observation shows that Webb has the capability to analyze exoplanet atmospheres in great detail, including those of planets that may be habitable. Is Proxima b an additional Earth? It's challenging to respond because no one has really seen this far-off planet that revolves around the Goldilocks zone-adjacent red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. By studying the frequent slight fluctuations in Proxima Centauri's hue, scientists have simply determined that Proxima b, which is around 4.2 light-years away from Earth, is exactly where it should be. Since Proxima b is tidally locked to its star, only one side of it is ever illuminated and is always facing Proxima Centauri. It revolves around its star in just 11.2 years, although red dwarf stars like our Sun are not as hot as yellow dwarfs. Proxima b might contain water, and its atmosphere might shield it from the sun's rays and disperse heat to the planet's dark side. How can we know for sure? Astronomer Laura Kreidberg and Harvard's Avi Loeb suggested utilizing the Webb Space Telescope. According to Loeb, a rocky planet like Proxima b would absorb light from its star and re-emit it as infrared radiation if it had an atmosphere. By the way, the JWST was created precisely to study infrared light. Proxima b's surface can be photographed using infrared light by the JWST, which is looking for patterns that might indicate whether or not this exoplanet has water or an atmosphere. But things aren't that easy. The presence of an atmosphere may not be a guarantee of life. With an atmosphere 90 times thicker than ours and intense heat, Proxima b might be like Venus. On the other hand, a new trip to Alpha Centauri will look for planets that could support life. Our nearest stellar neighbor, the binary star system Alpha Centauri, is only 4.376 light-years away. Numerous astronomical surveys have been conducted, but despite the system's proximity, no hard evidence of extrasolar planets has been discovered. The system has two stars orbiting each other, which makes it difficult to find exoplanets using the two most common techniques. This is part of the issue. Breakthrough Initiative stated in 2019 that they were supporting the Telescope for Orbit Locus Interferometric Monitoring of our astronomical neighborhood, Toliman, named after the star's ancient Arabic name, a new initiative to locate exoplanets nearby. The goal of this low-cost mission proposal, which was developed by a team from the University of Sydney in Australia, is to use the astrometry method to search for possibly hospitable exoplanets in the Alpha Centauri system. This involves keeping an eye out for evidence of wobble, which shows that gravitational forces, like planets, are acting on a star's apparent position in the sky. A G-type parent star, like our Sun, and a K-type orange dwarf secondary star make up the stellar system Alpha Centauri. It has been particularly challenging to distinguish potential signals from this system that could be caused by exoplanets because of its dual structure. This includes the transit method, in which astronomers keep an eye on stars for irregular dips in brightness that might be caused by planets transiting the star in front of the viewer. However, because the stars also make transits, brightness dips happen often. Similarly, the star's radial velocity, also known as back-and-forth motion, is greatly influenced by the way they co-orbit one another. 
Because of this, it is highly challenging to find planets that may be orbiting other stars, as indicated by how their gravitational pull on the star changes its motion. The existence of the rocky planet Proxima b orbiting within Proxima Centauri's habitable zone was, however, verified in 2016 using the same technique. Since then, two more have been discovered, including an outer gas giant that may have rings and an inner rocky planet the size of Mars. Astronomers have noted various potential signals from Alpha Centauri up to this point. The first occurred in 2012, when scientists detected an RV signal from Alpha Centauri b that was mistakenly identified as coming from a planet, Alpha Centauri bb, only to be disproved in 2015. It was reported that a potential planetary transit that had been disclosed in 2013 was too close to its parent star to support life. Using direct thermal imaging, a potential planet known as Potential 1, C1, was discovered around Alpha Centauri A in 2021. Peter Tuthill, a professor of physics at the Sydney Institute for Astronomy, CFA, and the mission's chief scientist, can't resist taking on the challenging task of verifying the existence of planets near Alpha Centauri A and B. The Ptolemon uses a diffractive pupil mirror pattern that spreads sunlight into a complex floral pattern instead of concentrating light into a concentrated beam like traditional telescopes, enabling incredibly precise measurements of a star's motion. More potent tools that are not just used to monitor Alpha Centauri can subsequently be used to track any signs of exoplanets. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope RST, slated for launch in 2027, and other next-generation telescopes like the James Webb would conduct this follow-up research. The many 30-metre ground-based telescopes that will go into service in this decade are likewise expected to find Alpha Centauri to be a popular target. It will be a challenging task to launch this telescope since it needs a small volume, 12 litres, that can preserve mechanical and thermal stability. In order to achieve this, the University of Sydney has a deal with Endurosat to supply a specially made tiny satellite as the delivery mechanism. For a continuing observation mission that will require several data downloads, their microsat design can downlink payload data at a pace of more than 125 megabits per second MBPs. This most recent endeavour is one of many supported by Breakthrough Initiatives, which is already making a difference with its cutting-edge initiative Breakthrough Listen, the most extensive programme yet mounted in the pursuit of extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI. The Ptolemon project also meshes well with the proposed Breakthrough Starshot Interstellar mission, which would deliver a nanocraft to Alpha Centauri within a single lifetime, 20 years, by utilizing improvements in miniaturization, sophisticated materials and directed energy propulsion. Finding neighboring planets will probably go a long way towards spurring interstellar expeditions to further examine the system. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.